Hi y'all, Ebony here again this evening. Today I want to talk about a reactive approach to addressing sin and Black Lives Matter. Eric Garner, John Crawford, Michael Brown, Azel Ford, Tamir Rice, Freddie Gray, Walter Scott, Sandra Bland, Kendra Chapman. Unfortunately, the list goes on and on and on of black men, women, children, queer, trans, parishioners, pastors, bystanders alike who have been killed by police or a white vigilante in the last year alone. Names that I have forgotten that have been hashtag this and hashtag that, it's been overwhelming to keep up with, overwhelming to understand that there are people out there in the society who are essentially profiling and tracking and discriminating against people who look like me simply because of the color of our skin. In light and in response to all of this, Black Lives Matter, what I would consider the um, 21st century civil rights movement has been really raising awareness around what's going on in our country. It's been putting on blast systemic and structural racism and has been calling attention to our nation's original sin of racism. They've been doing protests, die-ins, closing down freeways, um, doing so many different actions to draw attention to the reality that black bodies are disappearing black bodies are dying all because they're black when i think about what black lives matter is doing i don't consider it a contemplative process addressing what paul raised in the last video around how we address structural systemic sin, that there's a reactionary approach, which is agitational and it's confrontational and doesn't always bring and carry people along because it's in your face. And then there's um, this contemplative approach that more so considers how to journey with people and bring people along in the process of undoing sin and undoing the sin of racism in this case. I think about what we lose when we say that one approach works and the other doesn't. Black Lives Matter is reactionary and it needs to be because of the moment, because of the urgency of the moment. In moments like these, it's it's good to be contemplative, it's good to carry people along and journey with them, but we've been trying to journey with folk for over 400 years and people still seem to not get that blacks are human and made in the same image of God as white folk. And so contemplative, yes, but right now we need to be in the face reactionary as much as we possibly can to let that message sink in just a little bit more.